No Slack started his Let's Play channel just 4 months ago with zero subscribers. Since then he played Prison Architect, Planet Coaster, Mini Metro, Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, Another Brick in the Mall, City Skylines, Banished, Coffee Shop Tycoon, Rust, Dead by Daylight, Rimworld, Tropico, Tavern Tycoon, Software Inc. <gasps> Sim Airport. Before he started SimAirport he had 300 subscribers. And boom, his subscriber base exploded from 300 to 6000 in just two weeks. Howdy YouTubers, Nico here. Who wants to start yet another Let's Play channel? No Slack does. Although there are so many other Let's Play channels out there, his strategy made him really successful. Let me reveal his secret sauce. Welcome guys to No Slack. We are going to be playing Prison Architect today. Bear in mind this is the first video that I'm uploading to YouTube ever. So it's going to be pretty bad. I'll, I'll be honest with you. He jumped right into pushing out new videos. I have to say with a decent commentary right from the start. Slow start as always in this game, but things are going to get hot and heavy here in the next few minutes. See, we've got, we have issues here, issues here, issues here. Nope, maximum trains on red. All right, game over. Yep, well, that's disappointing. You know what? Let's just try it one more time. I'm not a quitter, folks. Don't say that I am. That's why the name is No Slack. As you can see, these are solid Let's Plays. Let's look at his first Sim Airport Let's Play. Now, this is going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and we still have a little bit of money left over, even though... Uh, we have the three ticketing agents, so that's good right there. Do we need more security? We have the three security podiums, and they are all there to check the IDs. Let's go ahead and hire some more security to actually man these. Um, we have one for the metal detector there, one for the conveyor belt, and there we go. I think we're looking okay. Again, solid work. But the key is here, he doesn't do anything quirky to stand out. Just a kind of let's play where you can lean back on your couch and enjoy watching it. So, if he didn't do anything special, why did the Sim Airport series become so successful? Well, No Slack gives a hint about his strategy. What's going on guys, it's No Slack Novak and we're starting a new series, well it could potentially be a series. I'll do a few episodes and if you guys like it then I will continue with Tropical 5. He intentionally cancels old series that didn't take off and starts playing new games. You can say every new game is a lottery ticket to success. By the way, let me know in the comments, how often do you start playing new games? With all the games No Slack played, it was just a matter of time until he hit jackpot. In hindsight, it absolutely makes sense why it took off. Sim Airport was released on March 6th. No Slack released his game review on the same day and started his Let's Play series the very next day. Look at Google Trends. People started searching for Sim Airport on YouTube like crazy. And No Slack got his fair share of this search traffic. Awesome strategy, No Slack. It was a pleasure to share your story. Guys, check out No Slack's channel. And if you liked the story, also check out how Matt used a brilliant strategy to get plenty of views with a single Reddit post. Cheers, guys!